Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a poem, Landscape of the Capybara River, written by the famous Brazilian poet João Cabral de Melo Neto. Capybara River is a river located in Pernambuco State, Brazil. In this poem, Cabral presents the image and lives of the people on the banks of the river. The poem uses the image of a dog to denote the river. From the very beginning till the end, the poet tried to define the river. The poem tells about the past and present of the river Capybarib. It is polluted beyond measure. In the past it was pure. Now it is polluted. The poet uses various images to convey his indignation at polluting the river. You can see here <coughs> the river Capybarib. These are some of the images of the pollution of the river. Dumping of factory waste into the river. Oh, let us come to the poem. The lines of the poem is given here. And the paraphrase is given on the other side. I will read the poem, then read the paraphrase. The city is crossed by the river, as a street is crossed by a dog, a piece of fruit by a sword. The river flows. Sorry. across the city the river flows across the city just like a dog crosses a street just like a fruit is cut by a sword this stanza brings the comparison between the river and the street dog we understand that the river is not in a good condition. The river called to mind a dog's docile tongue or a dog's sad belly or that other river which is the dirty wet cloth of a dog's two eyes. The river made the poet remember the weak tongue of a dog or the sad belly of a dog. Or it made him remember another river which is like the dirty covering of the eyes of a dog. The river is hanging weak like a dog's tongue. The river is like the hungry belly of a dog. It is dirty like the membrane over the two eyes of a dog. The river is polluted in such a condition. Stanza 3 The river was like a dog without feathers. It knew rose, nothing of the blue rain, of the rose-colored fountain, of the water in the water glass, of the water in pitchers, of the fish in the water, of the breeze on the water. In this stanza, the poet tells about the good old days of the river. Once, 
the river was like a thin dog devoid of fur and feather the body of the river was clearly visible the river knew about clear blue rain not rose rain the river knew about not rose but the clear blue rain the river knew about rose colored fountain streams which flowed into it the river knew about water that can be drunk from glass that means the river had pure water in it the river knew about waters in jugs jug means container again referring pure water the river once knew about fish in the water the river once knew about the soft breeze over the water so once the river was so rich and beautiful so that is the meaning of this particular stanza the river was like a dog without feathers it knew rose nothing of the blue rain of the rose colored fountain of the water in the water glass of the water in the pictures of the water in the what fish in the water of the breeze on the water it knew the crabs of mud and rust it knew silt like a mucous membrane it must have known the octopus and surely knew the feverish women living in oysters the river had crabs in it there was mud and rust and fertile soil under water just like mucous membrane lines on the sand the protective layer the river had the river even had octopus in it the poet refers about women living in oysters probably a reference to folk stories about mermaids so all these facts were matters of the past and now what happened the river never opens up to fish to the shimmer to the knifely unrest existing in fish it never opens up in fish see from here onwards we are discussing about the present condition of the river now there is no fish in the river the sparkling of water the shimmering of water on the shimmering of water on the scales of the fish doesn't exist today the river now does not carry fish the river is now so polluted that there is no living things like a fish crab etc it opens up in flowers poor and black like black men and women black men and women it opens up into a flora as squalid and beggarly as the black who must beg it opens up in hard-leafed mangroves kingy as a black man's hair instead the river has flowers now what type of flowers but the flowers are poor and black just like the poor black men and women who live on the banks of the river the plants under the river had a dirty and beggarly appearance beggarly means like a beggar beggarly appearance of black people who lives by begging river also develops mangroves mangroves you know kandal kadugal but they are not beautiful it is like the thick hair of a black man
this is kinky hair as referred again he continue he continues about the present condition of the river smooth like the belly of a pregnant dog the river swells without bursting the river's childbirth is like a dog's fluid and invertebrate some part of the river has increased in width just like the belly of a pregnant dog it has grown big without bursting the origin of the river is like that of a dog it flows like fluid as if it is without black bone sorry without backbone that is invertebrate and i never saw it seeth as bread when rising seethes in silence the river bears its blotting poverty pregnant with black earth the poet has never seen the river rise up and flow in a noisy manner noisily just like the bread rises up during fermentation the river flows silently carrying its poor but big belly the belly of the river is full of dirty black earth black soil it yields in silence in black earthen capes in black earthen boots or gloves for the foot or hand that plunges in the black earth black soil carried by the river is so sticky it gives black soil in the black soiled edges of the river if you plunge plunge your hand or foot you will get black soiled boot or gloves referring to the sticky black soil if you immerse your hand or foot in the soil when you take it out you will be having a glove or a boot on your hand and foot as and times happens with dogs the river seemed to stagnate its waters river seemed to stagnate its waters would turn thicker and warmer flowing with the thick warm waves of a snake the river sometimes just like a dog stops at some place the river stops as the water get thicker and warmer then the flow of the river will become slow like the movement of a snake the river becomes stagnant because of shedding the industrial waste to the river thereby polluting it it had something of a crazy man's stagnation something of the stagnation of hospitals prisons asylums of the dirty and smothered life dirty smothering laundry it trudged through the river sometimes has the stagnation of a madman as well stagnation means state of not moving or sleeping the river stagnates like the stagnation we see at hospitals prisons asylums etc it is like the stagnation of the dirty and suffocating life of people stagnation of water where we wash our clothes something of the stagnation of decayed palaces eaten by mold and mistletoe something of the stagnation of obese trees dripping it thousand sugars from pernambuco dining rooms it trudged through just like the stagnation we see at the decayed palaces eaten by the fungus and covered by creepers 
the reverse stagnation is like the stagnation of the growth of big trees the river moves so slowly like the dripping of sugar from the dining rooms of pernambuco state pernambuco state is known for sugar production it is there with their backs to the river that the city's cultured families brood over the fast ex of their prose in the complete peace of their kitchens they viciously stir their pots of sticky indolence the cultured rich families of the city turn their back to the river there in these houses they sit brooding over the eggs of their words the rich people of the city speak loudly about protecting the river however they are in fact doing nothing poet says in a poetic manner that they are viciously cruelly stirring the pots of their indolence laziness they are sitting they are uh, sitting over the eggs of their words meaning they are speaking loudly about it but they are doing nothing they are stirring the pots of their laziness could the rivers water be the fruit of some trees why did it seem like ripened water why the flies always above it as if about to land the poet asks whether the water of this river is the fruit of some tree he asks this because the color of the water looks ripened yellow and the fly is moving over it the bur- the poet indirectly means that the water in the river is so dirty did any part of the river ever cascade in joy was it ever anywhere a song or fountain why then were its eyes painted blue on maps in the concluding stanza the poet asks whether any part of the river ever cascade in joy cascade means small waterfall was there ever happiness in this river were there ever a song or fountain in it why then the rivers are marked blue on maps so that is what he asks so blue is actually a symbol of something that is pure but the river is yellow in color ripened it is the dirt that makes it so but he asks why then on maps the rivers are marked as blue a small comment on it the poem is about the pollution of the river by human interference the poet tells about the beauty of the river once and then tells how it is now he describes with usual images with unusual images the past and present of the river need for environmental conservation is the theme of the poem Capybara River in Brazil flows in between a number of sugar factories the factory wastes are dumped into the river which make which made this river stagnant so that is about this poem uh, the land landscape of capybara river it is about the past and the present of the river it was very pure in the past now it is absolutely dirty so read the poem very slowly read the poem on one side and the paraphrase on the other thank you